Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel MS Maths. In this video of Measure and Integration Theory, we will discuss the uh, sigma algebra of these sets. So, what is the sigma algebra of the set? We will discuss the definition and theorem and then we will discuss the Borel set and what is the Borel set, definition and the property and the miserability of the Borel set. So, first of all, we will discuss the sigma algebra of the set and algebra of set A is called a sigma algebra of sets if it is closed under countable union. So basically it uh, represents uh, like we can understand this concept using this that uh, it means that first if you have E is some set and uh, E is subset of A or E is some subset of A basically then the E complement is also with the E complement then E complement is also the subset of some set A like in this way you will define a or some different type of a okay then second property says that if a n if a n is any countable collection of sets in a then union of a n it means union of all a n is belongs to this a n now this is the condition that we uh, we will discuss in the theorem so these are some uh, algebra which is known as the sigma algebra now every sigma algebra is closed under countable intersection this theorem will prove so basically the sigma algebra is the closed under countable union okay so if it is closed under countable union so basically it is countable union now we will prove that closed under intersection or countable intersection now to prove this theorem we will have let a be a sigma algebra let a be a sigma algebra of sets that sigma algebra of sets then let e1 e2 and en are in sigma algebra of sets this is the sigma algebra of the set so e1 e2 e3 are all in the sigma algebra of the set consider the countable intersection of en the take complement it is nothing but the union of all en of the complement which is belongs to the sigma algebra since en belongs to the sigma algebra implies that en complement also belongs to the sigma algebra and also sigma algebra is closed under the countable union this is that's what the definition of the sigma algebra hence it is equals to the complement of this hence intersection of en complement and intersection of en complement of complement is nothing but the union of en which is in sigma algebra it means that countable intersection is sigma algebra sets also belongs to sigma algebra so because of that this intersection is or the complement of this countable intersection is equals to the union of countable intersection of all the complemented set now we'll have uh, we'll take an example to understand this concept. So, take an example. Let E be a 
मिजरेबल सेट्स देन शो दैट द मिजरेबल सेट ए इज आउटर और आउटर मेजर ऑफ सेट ए विद दिस प्लस आउटर मेजर ऑफ ए माइनस दिस सो बेसिकली दिस टर्म इज नथिंग बट द आउटर मेजर ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन ई कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो वी कैन राइट इन दिस वे ई माइनस ए इंटरसेक्शन ई वेयर ए इज एनी सेट ना हाउ विल बी प्रूव इट प्रूफ for any set e is measurable set then outer measure of e is equals to the outer measure of a intersection e plus outer this by using this term we will find it okay outer measure of a intersection e complement that is basically now we can because of that we have to generate this term so a minus a intersection e is nothing but a intersection a intersection e complement okay so where a intersection a complement union of e whole complement where wait e is this wait wait if you will write a complement union e complement then it should be okay then the complement should be in this way so e will consider is nothing but a intersection e so it is uh, a complement union e complement then it implies that a using this using the de morgan's law between this a intersection a complement union a intersection e complement it is phi because a u intersection a complement obviously it is phi union a intersection e complement and it is equals and it is equal that uh, a intersection okay it is basically a intersection e complement so this term is equals to this so for this the outer measure of a is nothing but the outer measure of a intersection e plus the outer measure of plus the out okay sorry the outer measure of a intersection e complement at the place of this we can replace the outer measure of a intersection e plus the outer measure of a minus a intersection e so this is the example that we have proved now uh, come to the borel set so what is the borel set it is related to the sigma algebra set so the sigma algebra generally by the family of all open set is in r is denoted by b so it is extended form of the sigma algebra on a particular case of all the open set or a family of all the open set is called the borel set okay so if e denote the class of all open set of real number then borel set is smallest sigma algebra containing e obviously smallest that will be smallest because e denote the class of all open set in r then b is nothing but the representation of the family of all open set the sigma algebra of family of all open set will be represented by the borel set okay and the sigma algebra which is the smallest borel set or smallest sigma algebra set not borel set so smallest sigma algebra set which contain this class of all open set okay and the member of borel set is the member of borel or the member of b this particular b are called the borel set this b contain all types of sets so uh, this is the definition and now we'll prove a theorem so the proper the property is basically the theorem every borel 
set is miserable set okay and how can we prove it start proving we know that the open set a infinity for open interval a infinity is miserable it means the complement of a miserable set is also miserable it means the complement of this is nothing but zero to or this is closed from one side it is zero to a is miserable okay now for any b belongs to real number such that minus infinity to b is nothing but the union of minus infinity to b is the union of countable union from uncountable union 0 to infinity minus infinity to some b minus 1 by n since countable union of this is countable not uncountable sorry 0 to 1 by uh, 0 to infinity countable union of miserable set is miserable that we have already discussed in the definition of miserable set then minus infinity to b is miserable so it is also miserable also we can write a comma b in such a way that minus infinity to b okay yeah in this case this will be not closed these all are open if it is open then it is closed okay this is open then the complement is closed and here it is closed because of that b minus 1 by n at the smallest value of b minus 1 by n the smallest 1 by n this is closed ok so this it is open then open set open interval a comma b is nothing but minus infinity to b intersection of a to infinity since a comma infinity and minus infinite comma b are miserable then the intersection of two miserable set is again miserable so a comma b is miserable okay now it means open interval is miserable now let g is equals to the union n is equals to 1 to infinity the interval i n where this interval is a sequence of disjoint open interval since every open interval is miserable and countable union of miserable set is miserable then 
therefore g which is the countable union of interval and this is the measurable interval then g is measurable g is measurable hence every open set of measurable or uh, any open set of real number is measurable then this implies that a comma b complement is nothing but closed set of reals is also measurable it means the borel set complement of an open set this is the complement of an open set now by the definition let e be the class of all open set of a real number then basically this e contained in a measurable set where m is the class of all measurable set but m is sigma algebra and e contained in m also since the borel set b is the class of all borel set this particular capital b is the class of all borel set is the smallest if e contained in this then it is the smallest sigma algebra containing e then e contain this m and b is subset of m it means e contained in b and b contain the class of all measurable set hence every borel set in capital b is in measurable class it means every set in b is measurable so basically the borel set will be measurable because this is the class of measurable set so this is all about the measurable set and uh, the sigma algebra of the set so thanks for watching my video keep watching my maths maths for more videos subscribe the channel like share and subscribe the channel thank you bye bye